Yeah, Food Banks is a creation from an organization called Trust of Trust. Um, basically, it's um, projects within various boroughs and communities whereby um, we come to serve those or we help people in crisis, suffering food crisis. As strange as it may sound in modern Britain, we are suffering. We have families that cannot support themselves, that cannot put food on the table, and food banks are here to ensure that the food, uh, as we, su we, we support people like this in an organized way, in what you call food banks, to ensure that the, the time when they report their crisis and get through all the institutions, that they get the help, the practical help they need to be able to feed their families and to ensure no one goes hungry. Creation Food Bank, as I, I should mention, was started about six years ago, and I've seen it grow from just being something I run within my church to something that's being run um, across three churches, uh, but mainly at our centre, the Riverside Centre, and this has been by virtue of the increased demand. Um, uh, most we know, unfortunately, Gresham is one of the most deprived communities within the southeast of England, and we see it as a divine opportunity and privilege to serve our community, and especially the crisis that is running across the whole of England. So what's been happening specifically in the food bank, in our food bank, is we've seen an increase in number. Uh, we've been stretched um, in terms of what we do, what we give out, uh, the volume we give out, and the people we help. Um, steadily, for the past three years, we have served, we've, we've given out food, emergency food parcels to local people, uh, numbering at least 3,000 every year and growing. Um, some people, I don't know, I, I, we've seen um, from, our, from our records that mostly it's been due to benefit delays, um, people not having enough income, and, uh, and not enough income. Also, universal credit coming into play. As we know, uh, officially, it takes five weeks for them to move on to the new system, and within that period, they have no or recourse to any support, so people naturally fall into the food bank, which helps ends up being an emergency net for people like this. So we have seen an increased number. We've got good stories here: people who are on the verge of suicide, people who have given up hope, people who have lost all self um, sense of self dignity. They've come here, a cup of tea, a nice word support, um, holistic support, as in signposting them to other agencies that could help, and a kind word, or just a listening ear. We have been here over the years. We have had some of our people who have come to get food here. They have eventually come out of that rot, and they have now become volunteers. Some of them have now gone on to get jobs. We have some fantastic stories here. We have had people who couldn't fit in anywhere, some with learning disabilities, they have you know, come to serve in the food bank and they found the food bank a place of acceptable uh, acceptability, as well as a family, as well as where they feel useful. So the food bank has been a melting pot for so many things, as well as sharing what I believe Jesus' love in action. We found that over the years, we've just been basically doing what our heart loves the most, which is to serve our community. But I found out over the time that people don't really know what we do, and they don't know why. They don't know that there's actually issues on their doorstep. And we uh, inevitably have not been sharing our story because we've been so busy just serving our communities. But it's come to my understanding that we can help and serve our communities more by getting a message out and letting, know, letting people know there are real problems out there. So 
now we're taking this opportunity, especially in the Easter period, to really let people know that the, the message of sacrifice, the message of being a brother's keeper. And we want to, st we're starting a campaign called the 4040, and that is everyone giving 40p for 40 days to support this mission, to su support this project, to support our brothers and our uh, neighbours and our colleagues who actually are in need and in food crisis because there, there, there's so much that is needed and there is so little we can do alone as a project. But if we come together as a community and actually give, it's going to take what we're doing much further and we can help much more people coming through the door. So the 4040 campaign is 40p a day for 40 days. And that's all. It sounds little or nothing, but little goes a long way to just put a smile on somebody's face, putting hope in somebody's life and giving somebody a reason to live. And I can tell you that from practical experience, it really makes a difference. So we'd like to invite you to come and join in this campaign, join in this effort. I know not everybody can come to the food bank and be a volunteer because of their, their pressures on time. But if you can give your money to do what you can't do, it's going to go a long way to help us to do what we do and to uh, help us tackle this food crisis that we are seeing in this community.